Let's talk about this crime that happened Tuesday night. It's about you. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, All right, that's the, end of the, uh, that's the end of the didn't segment. We're, mov money. we're moving on. He didn't take them. Well, Vice President, very, Chris, no. I, can I be honest? It's a very important try to question. Be honest. No, I, he, I, stood I, up, no, he stood I, up. No, I, I, the answer to the question is no. Ukraine. No, I, sir. With a billion sir, dollars, if you that get rid is of absolutely you know what? You're, wait, not true. You're on tape you're, doing it. You're going to have it. true. Jesus, QAnon, Christ. Hello, police. Yeah, I'd like to report a robbery. What was taken? Uh, 90 minutes from my life? Man, I thought black people liked to talk during a show. That was embarrassing. Folks, we gotta be asking ourselves, why in 2020 are we seriously having debates? I mean, debates are a quaint democratic custom from the before time. You know we can't have nice things now, you know that. We shouldn't act shocked when Trump lurches and screeches through a debate like an escaped chimpanzee, that's his jam. What shocks me is that after four years of this trashy reality show, there are still somehow undecided voters. Undecided. Like the ones uh, poster Frank Luntz corralled from some bus depot to enlighten us with their wishy-washy wisdom. I'm undecided. I mean, I don't really know enough at this point. I almost feel like I need to see another debate now. I am totally at a loss. I don't know who's going to get my vote. I'm still undecided. Personally, it's a dartboard for me right now. I'm so torn. I can't wait for the next debate. Really? Um, this is not Sophie's choice. You're not choosing which of your kids to send off with the Nazis. And by the way, if you were, it should be easy. One of the candidates actually likes Nazis. Stand back and stand by. Okay. Tell me why you are torn. The Democrats are not showing me a good purpose or a good reason as to why I shouldn't vote for Trump. Seriously, what the fuck, undecideds? Are you guys really undecided? Be honest. Are you just trying to get some attention? A little taste of that Hollywood glamour that a Franklin standard of Zoom panel bestows? Honestly, no shade, undecided people. But you guys are acting like you're all thoughtful and you're taking this seriously. But I would argue that you are not taking this seriously at all. I mean, guys, your house is burning, and here, here's what you're saying. I don't know if I should put this out with a fire extinguisher or more fire. Hmm, the fire extinguisher just hasn't won me over. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yes, there have been times when undecided made sense. I would say every election that Trump was not involved in, but this time, Guys, this time you're not deciding who will run America for the next four years. You're deciding if America will even be here in four years. So undecided does not cut it. Nope. Uh-uh. No, no. Uh, you know why? Because this is what I hear. Hmm. Should I get a puppy or a dead puppy? Hmm. I mean, you don't have to walk a dead puppy. I'm torn. Okay. <sighs> I'm not saying Judas is perfect. I mean, yeah, he snitches. But Jesus... Jesus hasn't said whether he'd pack the courts or not, you know? And blessed are the meek sounds like socialism, you guys. Okay, am I belaboring my point with piled up metaphors? Yes, I am. Because if someone is undecided, I am forced to doubt their ability to take in information on the first try. I gotta see another debate. I can't, I don't know. I'm confused. I can't make up my mind. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, let me try one more, okay? Um, do I like this bowl of shit that I'm eating? No, it's horrible. It's a bowl of shit. There's a bowl of ice cream over there, but I'm undecided. I mean, I'm sure it's good, and I hate this bowl of shit I'm eating. I just wish ice cream was better at promoting itself. I mean, what's the ice cream gonna do for me? I, you know, I'll just keep eating this shit until ice cream wins me over. I don't, does ice cream have a plan? Huh? You keep telling me ice cream's better than a bowl of shit. But how do I even know what's in it? Cream, motherfucker! Cream and ice are in it! Just read the damn carton! Do a little fucking homework! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, undecided. It's like I got a little carried away. I, you, you guys just dither too much. Let me show you the difference between dithering and clarity, okay? Here's a woman who decided to vote for Biden at that very same low-res groupthink race to the bottom Frank Luntz meeting of the minds, all right? I don't think it's important if someone can stand up to Trump or not. That's just irrelevant. That's like me thinking it's relevant that I can win an argument with like a crackhead. Yes, thank you. That is correct. 
you cannot win an argument with a crackhead. I've tried, you guys. You will never hear the phrase, um, hold that thought, crackhead. I believe it's my turn to speak. There's choice, America. It's really not a tough decision. It's either an ordinary centrist career politician or a crackhead. Just pick one.